Once upon a time, there was a corpse. A body that would have been forgotten like all the others. Deep under the ground. For the men whose job it was to bury the body had buried it properly, but they had buried it quickly. And perhaps not as efficiently or effectively as they ought to. So when the rain came, and when the rain stayed, when the water poured down from the sky for days and days, the earth began to loosen. And those things that were once interred were dislodged and loosened. Some of them shifting only slightly, but some of them, like this corpse, being picked up by underwater currents and whisked away out of their graves. Some would only drift a little, long, a little ways and would remain in the immediate environs of the graveyard they were put in, but some, like this corpse, would go further. Some would wash into the water and float for days, nights. It was hard to tell it had been raining for so long that the days and nights all blurred into each other. But then one night, a young man out of the bay scanning the water for what? Something? Anything? Saw the body. Caught a glimpse of what he had been looking for. And so, after some work and some effort, he took the body. He took the body and brought it back to a cellar beneath his home where he had built a massive engine, a cask, a capsule, a coffin. For this man had been working, experimenting, dreaming, daring. But now when he reached for a subject, a test subject. The thought of it was too terrible that no nomination, no suggestion, no enthrallment could convince anyone to do it. No one living. And so when he saw the corpse, a sudden, sickening, spontaneous idea burst into his head, and after he had brought it home and strapped it into that engine, he began to turn it on, boiling the proper chemicals, picking up the wind from the right speed, channeling that terrible, horrible rain. Recruiting his loyal cat to scream into the funnel that captured her horrible yowls and converted them into pure energy. And finally, through that one last horrible switch, and waited. And waited until finally he heard a scratch, a scrape, a scrawl of nails on metal from inside the coffin. And with eyes wide, he reached down to open the latch and see what death had brought him. Okay, it's just Frankenstein. I just did Frankenstein. I thought maybe something else would happen, but it was just Frankenstein. But it's a good story, you know. Uh oh.
Uh oh. Well, um, here we are. She's just, she's just remembering nursing with her mama. She thinks that maybe if she, if she tries real hard, she might find some milk in there. But I don't think she's going to find any. But I don't want to tell her that, you know, I don't want to... 